All right, so we're gonna get a little bit religious, okay? But we're gonna make it a little funny too. And this is why I'm wearing this today, okay? So y'all stay tuned. I grew up Catholic. My parents were very religious. We used to go to church every Sunday. But I ain't religious no more, y'all. But I do believe in God. I do believe in the higher power. I consider myself more spiritual than religious. We're gonna have some fun. LeRay Ray dropped a little video. Now to anyone who's religious watching this, you guys, it's all for fun. You know LeRay, he likes to make his little jokes. Let him have his fun. He dropped a video called Calling Homophobic Churches and Coming Out to Them. Okay, see, I even I don't know what's about to happen. But we gonna react. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Lorraine. So for this week's video, I felt like really getting into some shit. I'm actually it. terrified to film this video. I was watching <laughs> one of my favorite YouTubers, Jordan. I'll link his video down below. Basically, he called homophobic churches and came out to them. And I was like, ooh, I love dragging homophobic people. Where's my no, coffee? No, I'm gonna say I hate straight men. I'm be so worried about what gay people do in their lives. And I'm like, why are you so worried? Bitch, since you got so much fucking anger, stop playing Call of Duty and go fucking join the army, bitch. And I'm kind of glad he dropped this video because y'all heard about the baby. You know, the rapper, the baby. He ain't the only one who's homophobic, y'all, especially in the hip-hop culture. It's been around forever. I don't know why people are choosing him to hold him accountable all of a sudden. But it's it's around, okay? So I'm glad he's dropped a video like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, get extra gay and shit. It's like Pride Month. <laughs> if y'all hit me, that's homophobic. I better move. I've learned that being gay isn't only a blessing, it's a weapon. If you want somebody to move, you just say you're gay. What are they gonna say? I was at this one club and there was a line for the bathroom and I had to pee so bad. And I was like, I'm gay. And they all move. Making copies? <laughs> move. I'm gay. Best friend, look at me right now. Promise me that you won't judge me after I tell y'all this. My my favorite songs right now is Sycamore and Obama. Oh, with the <laughs> hey, by the way, I love y'all so much. If you don't feel loved, I love you. To all my girls and gays who are letting men cause problems in their lives, uh. <laughs> friend, come here. Come closer. A little bit closer. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Stop. You know? Hopefully, I don't get hate crimes in this video. <laughs> And if you guys are offended by this video, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But y'all offend me for feeling offended watching this, okay? Five minutes later. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Hi. Hi. Uh, long story short, I saw this gay black guy rapping about being gay. He goes by the name of Lil Nas. Did something spark you seeing this video and then wanted to call a church for an answer? Yes. When I was watching the video, I felt gay. By the way, I will say this on behalf of all the churches and all the religions. A lot of them have been a lot more lenient on homosexuality. So I do give them credit for trying to change and transition for the modern times. But there's a lot of religions that are still actively homophobic and very severe when it comes to it. We're going to see what this Ashley girl has to say. Okay, have you had that feeling before? Thing too like they still consider it a sin but they'll still welcome you they, they still won't look at you like you're a, like you're a demon but I will remind everyone we are all sinners every single soul on this planet you wearing that cotton shirt you eating that shrimp yeah y'all are sinners that's what the Bible says Amen. I want to meet you. You are going to meet me, okay. girl. I'm going to walk in with stilettos and a pride flag. <laughs> Thank you. Either way, I don't care. I want to see you. Oh, you're going to see me then, queen. Let's go. Have a nice day. That type um, of conversation, it just honestly opened my eye. Not all church people are awful. Obviously, right. she did have a little bit of closed-mindedness in her. She's the type of lady that will sit down and listen to your problems and be like, hey, I don't fuck with it, but like, choo-choo, go on. <laughs> Uh, I have something I quickly want to talk about. Okay, yeah. I think I'm gay, and I want to know if that's okay. Whether someone's gay or straight or whatever term you want to use, if we still need to live 
Boy, you sound gay. Let me rewind it. Let's hear his voice. Whether someone's gay or straight or whatever term you want to use, we still need to live and not act out on it. Does that make any sense? Shut the fuck up. You thought you ate that. So don't be gay? Well, I should be necessarily acting out on that inappropriately. Okay, so don't be gay. Got it. Can you have male friends? No, okay, so the reason why I think I'm gay is because you know who One Direction is? No. Listen to some old 60s, 70s rock and roll. Not the rock and roll gang, you're crazy. There was something called a smut, and I was reading one, and it, like, I thought about kissing Harry Styles. Is that okay? We should purposely arouse ourselves. Does that make sense? Harry and Harry Styles? Come on. Do me a favor, Pastor. I need you to get your phone out and Google Harry Styles because, come on. No, yeah, I've got that If I was a straight man and Harry Styles said, kiss me, let's go back. Put me on the cross. Why Harry Styles, though? I don't think Harry Styles is attractive at all. Just not my type. <laughs> One, because he's a guy. Second, because he's white. Third, it's because... I don't find him cute. Tim. Hi, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you, bud? Good, who's this? My name's Eric. <laughs> Eric, tell me what's going on, man. Yeah, I've just been looking for a pastor to talk to about, like, these demons I've been fighting. I was fighting some demons. <laughs> Bro, those demons. Oh, he is gay. Like oh, Eric, Eric, you went to our youth group, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. Hey, got it. I, I, uh, I recognize your voice. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you've been having these thoughts, and recently, for a long time, tell me about that. Ever since I downloaded, like, you, have you heard of TikTok? Like, it's just a toxic place <laughs> full of just shirtless guys by the name of, like, that Vinny hacker dude. It really just questioned my brain a little bit. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah, so do you feel like those thoughts are wrong? Well, that's why I'm calling you, because in my head, it's just like, just kiss a guy, you know? I just need a straight up answer. Is gay okay? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. My name's Alex. Okay, I'll see you. Recently, I've been having these dark thoughts. I think I'm the G A Y word. Okay, and what's your concern on it? Is that okay? I mean, you know, it's they call it homosexuality, they call it a sin. Philippians 4 6 through 9 basically says, By the way, there's only like five to six scriptures in the whole entire Bible that speaks on homosexuality. And they don't even use the word homosexual, homosexuality, or gay because that word never existed back then. It's all on how you interpret the Bible, how you interpret each scripture. It's how you're gonna end up wanting to live your life. So if you want to live your life straight and you are, re you are already against homosexuality, you're gonna read the Bible in a way where it's gonna justify your opinions. I ain't lying. Verses. Can I tell you my favorite verse? Yeah, yeah, sure. <clears throat> he trying to 69 like Takashi call him poppy worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know that one? Oh, yeah. Big purr, huh? Big purr. So, you know, hey, just keep playing. You know, I think gratitude is the biggest thing. Be grateful. I like him. I agree. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm not going to change myself. I was just calling to get some input from other people. Keep rocking, keep moving forward. I like yeah. him. Not him spitting out a Bible verse. I think he tried to just do an exorcism on me. And I'm like, an exorcism? Wow. Bitch purr. Do you think Adam and Eve gives a shit who I'm sleeping with? There is 64 <laughs> billion. What's the human population? Here's what I found. Seven trillion people on this planet. And do you think God has cared about little old me being homo? He doesn't. So why do you care? Let me put on my comfort hat because this- He made us this way, y'all. Ask Jesus. Ask his mama. Come on. Yo, it's just really- Oh, Jesus. Now I'm good. Let's call some more church. Well, hello, Gloria. Can I talk to you about this problem I've been having recently? Oh, well, is it leading to prayer? Yes, of course. I need a lot of prayer for this. <laughs> well, I'll be glad to pray. May I have your first name, please? My name is Ryan. Ryan, what are we asking God to do? I have this ongoing problem of just thoughts. Of first of all, I didn't even know you can just call them and ask them all these questions. I never knew that. I thought you had to actually enter the church and speak to a pastor about these things. Like, one of the, what do you call those things? Like, those confessions? Yeah. Guess not. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, and Ryan, what is it that we're asking God to do? Do you think being gay is okay? If you're a Christian, you, you want to look into our book of reference, the Holy Bible. Love the Bible, one of the New York bestsellers, Queen. Do you accept me? Is that okay? Then I'm gay. Fun facts, the Bible is actually the oldest book of all history. I would have to accept everyone, I believe. <laughs> I like that. I was very scared that I wasn't going to be accepted. And so what is it that we're asking God to do in prayer, Ryan? I, I've heard it all. You've answered my prayers. God bless you. I'm glad to hear that. God have bless you. Day. You have a great day. I like her. an amazing day. There we go. I the like very minimum. Her. But honestly, I fuck with it. I fuck with it too. Whoa, this is Hi, is this a pastor? Oh, yes it is. Can I talk to you about something that's been eating me alive recently? Sure thing, do you have an appointment? No, I just <laughs> wanted to give him a quick Do you have an appointment? And ask for forgiveness. Do you have an appointment to talk to God? Okay, uh, forgiveness for what? I did something sinful. Uh, uh, okay, uh, explain. Me and my guy friend, we like <laughs> held hands. Oh, oh shit. What'd you say? Queen. You and your god friend have <laughs> Yes. Now I'm thinking that I'm a little, what's the Christian term? Homosexual. God is very forgiving, <laughs> but I think you need to come on in for a Sunday service. We can help you out through that, through any of your trials and tribulations. What would a Sunday service do for me, though? That sounds like a little promotion. Gay, not okay? God is forgiven, but we're not. But I mean, we can try to help you out. Define hell. We have a lot of scriptures in the Bible that we can point your way and turn you back out if you think Bruh. it really is a problem. <laughs> So like an exorcism? No. <laughs> I don't think I need an exorcism. Listen, I already told you God is forgiven, but we're really not. So if this is a joke, please, you're wasting my time. Thank you. Oh, and if it wasn't a joke, that's how you talk to your people. That's how you're serving God. Oh, you are in the wrong profession, little man. Jesus, and I'm calling you a little man because your way of thinking is very small. Jesus is in my mm. life, my family's in my life, my well, mom. Obviously not in your life enough. Because I held hands with one of my guy friends, is that not normal? Well, you're telling me you're asking God for forgiveness, but clearly you know you did something wrong. So clearly you must be in the wrong about something. I don't think it's wrong at all. So why are you wasting my time? Brethren, wow. that's not very Christian of you. Not at all. <laughs> Damn, see what I'm talking about? Those are the people that I cannot stand. You are not helping your religion, yourself, or God. Am I going to hell? Wait, no, I don't want to go to hell. Oh my gosh. This video has taken a big toll on my mental health. And I feel like this needs to be said, especially throughout all the toxicness that went on. Let's in this talk video. on it. Gay is okay to some people. Gay is wrong in the Bible, apparently. Love who you want to love. Don't let no one stop you from loving who you want to love or being who you want to be. I know it's corny to say, but honestly, it's your life and it's your body, so do what you please with it. That is all for this week's video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs I up. I did you enjoy don't it. Have to, but hey, if you liked it, why not? Do I it always do. Community. It's Pride Month, fuck it's over. Just do it. And subscribe because it's literally free and if you end up hating me later on, you can unsubscribe. So, anyways, I love you guys all so, so, so much. Give me a fucking hug. Love you. I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Leray Bray. I will see you next week. Don't worry, I'll be right here for you. I will say, Leray never disappoints me. He is very entertaining, very funny. I can't do stuff like that. I can't be calling these people because I'll get upset. I'll get mad. I'll just say a whole bunch of things that God might not forgive me for. So, Lorette, you did a good job on it. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.